Hey everybody, it's Michelle Visage. Welcome to another episode of What You Back In. And this time, we have our season one crowned winner, Bibi Zahara Benet. All Stars 3. Yeah. Now, I want to talk about that because you're different than any other girls. You're the only one that's been a crowned queen season one. You're a winner. When they called you to do All Stars 3, what was it like for you in thinking about doing it? Do I want to do it? Are they going to view me differently? Because I've already won. What if I don't win again? How was that decision for you? You know, it wasn't really about the, oh, I've already won again and what would people think? Because I just felt like, you know, already winning, I've already validated myself. So it wasn't really like seeking for validation or what would people think if I do it. It was just, at that, the, the decision was based on where I was with my career and my personal life and what I was doing in the moment and if this, if, you know, if this is something I really wanted to do again and go through the adventure and go through the process and being judged. <laughs> now that you've gone through it, are you happy that you made that decision? To do All Stars 3? All Stars 3, yes. Yeah. I am, I'm happy. I'm grateful. I'm humbled by the experience because I feel like what I wanted to do there in the do in the show I did it I feel like I was coming into the show to really you know not only inspire because now this sounds like very like Mother Teresa trying to inspire but really it was just coming and having other people like re uh, like reintroducing myself you gave an amazing performance Thank you. that all stars three I was really impressed because obviously I watched season one I didn't get to judge you I wasn't on it but I watched it and you deserved every bit of that crown it was unbelievable to watch and you did the same thing and getting to see it in person you know after every episode I'd look at Rue and I go this is why this is why she's the queen this is why you won and I think that you held yourself to that same level of expertise and it was amazing mm -hmm. and you gave us so many looks and we have three <laughs> more that you've never even worn over I here. I know I mean and this is just like the simple ones I was like my luggage was good I was like oh I can bring all this many looks. Do you make these BB? No I don't make them but I design all of my looks and use some of them I would make and some of the ones that are a little bit complicated with you know that have so much design. Different patterns and yeah, stuff. Yeah I would create them and have you know have different people that would make my stuff for me. Are you happy with what you've done I'm happy I'm proud you know I wanted to go through the process I wanted to go through the adventure you know I wanted to also learn a season queen never stops learning once you stop then that's time to give it up and I feel like I have so many more years left so I'm not giving it up Honey, right now. Phoebe, a human being never stops learning right. if you think you know everything at what you're doing then it's time to do something else right you yeah. could never know enough. Yeah. So I think that's a great attitude to have. Now, when Rue told you that the girls were making the decision on the final two, mm -hmm. that's the gag. Yeah, that was the gag. What did you think? Were you... I was like, it's a wrap for me. Seriously? Yeah, it was. I felt like a lot of the girls had an issue with the crown queen already being. No, I don't want to let her win again. Not like, why she don't. And it's not even about the work. It didn't come down to the work ethic. It didn't come down to the relationships you have with them. It just came back to the fact that, oh, she she has enough, She has had that crown. We need to give that space to another person. Shenanigans. Which, well, I, that's how I felt about mm. it. I don't think they necessarily said it to my face, but you could just tell. I mean, it's, a, it's an energy. It's a, it's a thing you can feel. Mm. But I was already at peace with it because because I was, that crown would not validate me. Mm. And I felt like I was very proud of my work. I, I would stay that way. I'm so proud of you. Honestly, you. to see you do this again in front of me in the flesh was amazing. Okay. And I think that you should be proud of yourself. You. Not only do you have that crown, but you got to the very end. I mean, yeah. from there, there was no place to go but win. Okay. Bibi Zahara Bene, you are fantastic. Thank you. You much. are legendary. Keep on living your iconness. Thank Enjoy you. the moment and I'm take it for everything it's worth. I know you're going to continue to share your gift with the world, so thank mama. you so much, my love. Thank you, mama. Continued <laughs> success. Thank you guys for watching another What You Pack In. Love you. Bye. Hey, squirrel friend. When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you.